Um, before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ahawa, Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the elders and the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect, and shalom to you sincere brothers that are scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity, and shalom to you sincere sisters that's listening in silence as the scriptures command you to do so. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka, and pretty much we're going to go into, this lesson is going to be titled as own free will. You don't have your own free will, okay? No person on the earth has their own free will, okay? But you still have this still going on amongst Israel. You got Israelites literally believing that they have their own free will. They know what they're going to be doing in the next five years, where they can see themselves doing and how things are going to be for them. You don't have that capability. Okay, the Lord has written a lot out for each and every one of us individually in this truth, and you're just playing it out. Your lot has already been written for you. you just playing it out, and you don't know what your lot is. Okay, your lot could be the elect, or it could be a two-third. You don't know. So we're going to get some scriptures out because you got people that's saying that they got their own free will and, you know, they can do as they will. But that's not according to scriptures, though. That's not according to prophecy. It's not according to the Bible. OK, and we're going to prove it. This is Proverbs 16 and 1. It says the preparations of the heart. And anytime you see heart, it goes into the Hebrew word, which means law, which means mind. It says the preparations of the heart, meaning the mind in man and the answer of the tongue. Right. The mind in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. So the mind, the heart is the mind. And it says the mind in man, the mind in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. OK, so everything you do throughout the day, the Lord already written that out for you. Just with whatever it is, what you do on a daily basis, the Lord already did that. The Lord already has it set up. The Lord already has it set up and you plan it out. The Lord already knows what you're going to do the next day before you even know what you're going to do. So you don't have your own free will. You don't have your own free will. You can't say, oh, I have my own free will because you don't. You're playing what you're playing out what the Lord already written out for you. Each and every one of us individually in this world. And I'm just saying in general, in this world, in this truth, we all have lots that we got to play out. And we don't know what those lots are. That's why it's a blessing that we pray. And we always say Lord's will. Because you don't even know if you're going to be here tomorrow. You can be you can be dead. You can be put to death today. You can be put to death at any second, any time, any moment. You don't know. You just live in your life day by day. Right? Proverbs 20 and 24. It says, man's goings are of the Lord. You see? Men's goings are of the Lord. So how can you say you have your own free will when the scriptures clearly tells us in Proverbs 20, uh, 20 and 24 that men's goings are of the Lord? So the Lord has, has it all set up. He has it written out for you. You're playing it out. Your lot is already written out and you're playing it out. Now, the main thing is that we pray for is to be of the elect, though. That's what we mainly pray for is to be of the elect. OK, because the scriptures say what many are called, but only a few are chosen. And I want to get that out and we get back to that. Right. Get that out. This is Matthew 22 and 14. It says for many are called, but few are chosen see many are called but few are chosen and we want to be of that 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 chosen man all right we don't want to be the ones to just be called into the state we want to be that chosen okay it says for many are called but few are chosen so few are chosen and you don't you don't know okay none of us know we just played it out and we're praying throughout the throughout the days throughout the weeks throughout the months throughout the years to be of the elect and that's what we do on a daily basis all of us in this truth do right proverbs 20 and 24 men's goings are of the lord it says how can a man understand his own way he can't because you don't know what your lot is you don't know you plan it out the lord is the director of the whole show he can put you to death okay you can have you in a season a season where he puts you to death the lord can he can send a death angel out to you he can put you to death right you people are talking about, oh, in the next five years, I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing that. You don't fucking know, though. You don't know. You don't know. You're, the Lord has your script. And I'll just, I'll just speak basic on a, on, a, on a carnal level in this flesh. 
the Lord has your script just like just like acting, right? You see these uh, um, shows like Power, right? Uh, Empire, right? Snowfall. Um, what's another show I can think of? Uh, Snowfall. Um, Bel Air. You know that those people that played in those shows, right? They got a script for their character that they have to play out, right? That they act through. It's on a spiritual level with this truth. You have a script and you're playing that shit out. And you don't know what you don't know what your what, what, what your lot is though. It's the same thing on a spiritual tip. It says Proverbs, it's like it says Proverbs 20 and 24. It says, Men's goings are of the Lord. It says, How can a man then understand his own way? You can't. You can't understand his own way because he's playing his lot out. You have to play your lot out and you don't know. You don't know what your lot is. It could be the elect or it could be a two third. We hoping and praying that it's to be of the elect, though. Because you got these Christians and these, these, these people of this society, they, they really believe they're going to be here forever. They literally think they're going to be here tomorrow. They got shit already set up and planned for tomorrow. And you don't even know if you're going to be here tomorrow. Because it's not it's your will. It's of the Lord's will. Right? Proverbs 21 and 1. It says the king's heart, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. The king's heart, meaning the mind, is in the hand of the Lord. That's why the scriptures say, give me any plague but the plague of the mind. Cause the Lord, he can he can bug you out too. He can he can he can he can put a bug out spirit on you. He can bug you out. Yes, he can put a bug out spirit on you. Lord can put a suicidal spirit on you. He can he can he can do everything is of the will of the Lord. Whatever he wants to do to you, he can do it. This is why we gotta. This is why we pray. We ask the Lord to keep us in a, in a, in a right stable mind. We see people plagued. You got people talking to themselves. They walking down the street talking to themselves. They got demons on them. They got spirits on them, man. All right. This is Proverbs 21 and 1. It says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as rivers of water. He turneth it whatsoever he will. Whatsoever he will. Not you. What he will. Everything is set up of the will of the Lord. Okay? Everything is of the will of the Lord. Our power, Yahweh, Bashim, Shai. Right? Proverbs 3 and 6. Right? And actually, uh, I want to read this again. Jeremiah 10 and 23. Oh, Lord, I know the way of a, I know the way of man. Is not in himself. See, it's not the way of man. It's not in himself. It's not him that's doing everything that he just want to do on the earth. A, a man in the flesh. An Israelite man in the flesh. He's just doing whatever he want to do. No. Right? Oh, Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It's not. Right? It says, it is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. It's not. It's the Lord that do it. Right? And let's prove it. Proverbs 3 and 6. It says, in all thy ways, and actually... I should have, I should have started at verse five. We're gonna get verse five, right? Because the scriptures gives us clearly instructions on how the Lord works. Okay, this is Proverbs three and five. It says, "Trust in the Lord with all thine heart," meaning mind, right? And it says, "And lean not into thine own understanding," right? You're not supposed to lean into your own understanding. Verse six: In all thy ways, in all your ways, you as an Israelite person, right? An Israelite Jake, a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indian. It says, "In all thy ways, your ways," right? Acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. So the Lord is the one that's directing our paths. Okay, we don't have control over what we do. We don't have our own free will. The Lord already has written a lot out and you're playing it out. Whether you believe it or not, you're playing your lot out. Okay. And this is why we're hoping that our lots is to be of the elect. You know, these wacky tacky Christians and these people out in the world, our people is westernized. Our women is westernized. They got all these goals and plans set up and Christmas time. I'm going to be doing this in Christmas. These fucking holidays is coming again. The holidays are pagan. And so many people are planning. So many people is getting ready for Thanksgiving, killing, and all this other madness again another year. Right? I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing that over there. I'm going to be doing this over here. I'm going to be doing that. You don't fucking know though. Right? So Rock 18 and 3. It says, who governed the world with the palm of his hand? Who governed the world with the palm of his hand, man? Right? Who governed the world with the palm of his hand? Right? And it says, in all things obey his will. What? Read that again. Sirach 18 uh, 18.3. It says, who governed the world with the palm of his hand? Who governed the world with the palm of his hand, man? Who? Right? Of It says, the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. The Lord. Right? It says, for he is the king of all. By his power, dividing holy things among among them from profane. And you see that? His will, not your own fucking will. 
his will, right? And we're going to get the meaning of that word profane there. Profane. It says to reelect or devote to what which is not, uh, it says sacred or biblical. It says secular rather than religious. It says of, this is the second meaning for it, of a person or their behavior, right? A person or their behavior. It says treat something sacred with irreverence or disrespect right and let's read them read this again so rock 18 and 3 it says who govern the world with the palm of his hand and all things obey his will all things obey his will the lord's will right for he is the king of all he is power dividing holy things among them from profane from profane so everything is of the lord's will not your own will and if you are a fucking wacky tiny Christian out here, excuse my French, and you over there saying, well, we have our own free will, the the, 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 the Lord nailed the laws to the cross, the laws are done away with, you are tweaking on so many different levels. Because we're reading the scriptures literally in the Bible, literally. And the scriptures is telling us we don't have our own free will. So you contradicting the scriptures. You wacky tiny Christians are contradicting the scriptures. We don't have our own free will. And if you are a person out there that has that belief, you're going to be destroyed. Because you don't have your own free will. You have a lot out, and the Lord is having you play it out. You have to play your lot out. And we don't know. We don't know what our lots are. Right? So, Rock 3, 33 and 13, it says, As the clay is in the potter's hand, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, it says, So man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as liketh him best. So the Lord has it already set up, man. The Lord already has it written out for that individual to play his lot out. All right, we're nothing but men's of, men of clay. We're made of clay, right? Our, filthy, our righteousness is just filthy rags. We're as clay, right? So the Lord, he set it up. He set everything up. He set up. He set individuals, all of us up. And he set this whole thing up, our lot up. What we're going to be doing, how long we're going to be in the truth, what we're, what the Lord's going to Because the Lord is the one that's been shifting everything. He's been shifting shit. Shit been getting shifted around. People been sent here, there. Camps have been split up. The Lord is doing all of this. Now, the main thing, though, is to pray that we are of the elect. That's what matters in this truth. Because, again, that is the, that's what matters in the truth. You got individuals that's being completely shifted. Where they ain't, they ain't, I ain't gonna say no names. I don't expose people. That's between them and the Lord. But at the end of the day, you got individuals that were in the truth and they ain't did a video in two, three months. Their brothers is wondering where this individual is. I'm not saying no names though, but at the end of the day, this is why you gotta stay prayed up. This is why you don't wanna burn yourself out. You wanna study and, and, and do as best as you can because the Lord is shifting. He's shifting. And we just pray that we're not shifted completely out of the truth. Okay, it's a difference from being shifted to being shifted completely out where you're not teaching and you ain't did a video in three, four, five months or two, three, four weeks. That is the spirit not to have in the truth. Okay, now if it's a day or two days, okay, but you know, longer than that, it's a problem. You should be worried. So Rock 39, 18, it says, at his commandment is done whatsoever pleases him and none can hinder when he will save. You see that? And none can hinder when he will save. Right? It says, so it's Sirach 39, 18, at his commandment is done whatever pleases him. The Lord. The Lord. Right? And it says, and none can hinder when he will save. None can hinder. Everything is of the Lord. The Lord is the director of the whole show. He's establishing uh, his judgments. He's establishing judgments. He's shifting people out. He's putting people here. He's putting people there. The Lord is the one that's doing everything. The main thing for you individually, because the people probably say, okay, then what's the point? You want to make sure that you are on your stuff in this truth. You are building yourself up, studying to show yourself approved, getting right, right? Why everybody else out here, when I say everybody else, two-thirds of our people out here being worldly and believing they're going to be here in the next 10 years and what they see themselves in the next 10 years, that's not a spirit to be in because that means you're comfortable in this society and this place is going to be destroyed. You don't want to be comfortable in a place like this. This place is going to be destroyed, man. We're not being comfortable here. We're praying to be the elect to get the hell up out of here, not trying to be stuck here. I'm not. I'm trying to get the hell up out of here, man. All right? Working our best out to, to, to get that golden ticket on that chariot, man. Right? Revelation 17, 17. For the Most High have put in their hearts, meaning their minds, their lobs, right? To fulfill His will. Read that again, man. 
Revelation 17, 17, it says, For the Most High have put in their lobs, their heart, meaning their minds, their lobs, to do for to fulfill his will. Not your own will, his will. Right? And it says, And to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. His will. Not your own will. His will, man. Right? And I'm going to wrap it up with this precept right here. Wrap that up with this right here. Um, let me get that out. Uh, I can't think of it right now. Bear with me. This is James 4, 4 and 15. This is, why, this is why all the elders, all the bishops, all the brothers, all the way down to the affiliates, all the way down to individuals like myself, this is why we say Lord willing. This is James 4 and 15. For they, it says, for that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or do that. So everything is of the Lord's will. So this is why we say Lord willing. Because we can't say, well, tomorrow I'm about to go do this. I'm going to go and do that. I'm going to go and do this. Nope. Because the scriptures say what? Your life is nothing but a vapor. So at the end of the day, we always say Lord willing. Because we living for today. We can't live for tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised. We live in for today. We give him praises to the Lord. When we first get up, we give the Lord praises, thanking the Lord for blessing us to live another day on his earth because he's the one that set it up and we're playing our lot out for that day. Now, the next day is going to be Lord willing because we don't know if we're going to be here tomorrow. Okay. We live in for today. So this is why we say Lord willing. You know, I used to have, um, when I say that around certain, uh, uh, you know, uh, people, you know, when I say people, I'm talking about like relatives. Or friends, you know, I would slip out, you know, say, because, you know, it's, it's hard to try to be, you know, the person who you are now that you converted into this truth to be around, you know, family members, you know, we say, Lord willing, they look at us and say, Lord willing about what, you know, that, you know, tomorrow we live another day, you know, but all we all, you know, it slips out when you're around other people, around family members and, you know, worldly people, because you got to, you know, Lord willing, you know, they say, oh, Tomorrow, you know, uh, you're going to be doing training, you're going to be doing this. Okay, Lord willing. Because, you know, I can't say, okay, yeah, I ain't gonna, you don't know you're going to be here tomorrow. But so, like, getting back to the point. James 4, 15, for that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. So, at the end of the day, it is, you don't have your own free will. It's of the Lord's will, what you do throughout your whole life. From, from, from the moment you're brought into this world, all the way up into your adulthood. Everything is of the Lord's will. Everything is of the Lord's will, not your own will. You don't you don't have your own free will. So Lord willingness, that's is that a fine. I want to give all honors and glories and praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kakudash. And double honors to the elders and the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Double honors to Yahweh Bahashem Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to all for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers that are scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Razakah, and Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. On to the next one. Shalom. Shalom.